What's up? I'm just hanging out, walking around, doing nothing. How about you? Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't text you back. Sorry, man. Yeah. No. No, we ended up not going out last night. Uh, you know, I hit her up to see if she wanted to grab drinks, and then, uh, she told me that she, she's not looking for a relationship right now, and so, you know, yeah, essentially she kind of ended things. Yeah. You know, it happens. Yeah. No, and like, look, she was nice about it, and I responded, you know, like, hey, that's all right. Like, appreciate the honesty. You know, it was nice getting to know you better, and and all that stuff. And you know, I wish you well, kind of a thing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I didn't sleep too well last night. <laughs> you know, I... I caught myself, my brain, I could tell. It really wanted to... Attack myself, like... Sorry, man. This is. We don't have to talk about this if we don't. If you don't want. Alright, you sure? Because. Alright. I mean, if I start crying, you know, you can hang up. It's all good. No, I don't know. I just. I, I caught myself with those thoughts of. Ooh. I want. I want to take the blame. I want to put blame on to myself. Like, oh. See, it's because I said this, it's because I did this, it's because I'm not this, it's because I'm not that. So the idea that it's not who I am or what I am, it's a different feeling for me where I'm like, oh, I can't necessarily blame myself because I don't feel like it is. I take her at her word. She isn't looking for a relationship. So I don't think it's anything I did or who I presented myself as you know I think it is it's it's not what she's looking for so that's it you know but I've mentioned this before how I hold on to this belief that I am unlovable right and now my brain is trying to present that evidence back to me like aha you see you see you idiot you thought you could get away with it but no turns out you're still unlovable and I guess now the good thing is I'm catching myself doing that so I can fight back against it but honestly then the idea that okay I'm the best version of myself, presenting myself in what I felt like was the best way of presenting myself. So I checked all of these things and now, now it's just timing isn't on my side. So now I'm unlucky in love, unlucky in timing. What's the point? Like, what is the point then? You know, I try to tear the walls back down put myself out there try to be nice and do good things for people all these things have not gotten me what I want and I don't want you to take that thinking oh I'm going to start doing the opposite I'm going to be an asshole and treat everybody like a jerk no I'm still going to treat people with kindness and respect 
still gonna do the quote unquote good thing. I'm just saying, I'm just starting to lose the optimism that, oh, you, you put out good energy, it comes back to you. Because if anything, karma is saying, nope. I don't know what it is, man. Something I either did in my past or in past life that it's circling back to me and it's just saying, no. That thing that you want the most, you can't have it. And this evidence is starting to pile up of, well, maybe it's true. Maybe I'm not worthy of it. Maybe I am unlovable. I'm just processing it. You know, it's, it's just tough, man. Like, because now I feel like I'm back to just... I just feel tired, man. Like, I like the feeling of love, of that romantic chase and the feelings that you feel. Man, at the height of this, when we were seeing each other, you know, on, on my delivery routes, I was, you know, treating everyone like extra nice, I was smiling more, I, I just felt like I had an extra pep in my step, you know what I mean? And I didn't have to force it, it was just like, because I naturally just felt good about myself, because I felt validated, you know? And I love that feeling. Man, my days were just, it was easy, it was good, you know, because I had like, something and someone to look forward to kind of thing. Whereas like right now, right now, I'm just beyond tired. Like I want to go into hibernation. That's how much my body is just tired of it, you know? Because I know I'm back to that, back to square one, back to that same feeling of, well, you probably shouldn't try to do it because it's going to end in heartbreak and you have all this evidence to back it up that that's always going to be the case, right? You can see I'm trying to present this. I see it. I can see it. Because it's just like, I don't know what to do now, you know? I couldn't even turn to my like, comfort viewing last night. I literally just sat on my couch. No music, no TV, just staring up at the ceiling. And maybe that's not a bad thing. But I just feel so disengaged now. And before you even suggested, no, I'm not going back on the apps. No, thank you. I would rather die alone, which seems to be just saying, I'm just saying that like, that's my whole thing now is like, I keep on holding on the belief that, okay, you know, at some point the chips will fall and like everything will land into place. And every time it feels like things land into place, nope, those cars get scattered all across and It's just not in the cards for me. And, you know, I mean, I appreciate that we can talk about this right now, but, and don't get me wrong, dude. I, I mean, I'm talking openly to you about this right now. We have these conversations, but, It's just different, man. Like, I wish. Like. I just want to be able to hang out with someone, you know? Like. I want to wake up next to someone, get up, make coffee, and just talk. 
I'd want to do that with someone, not just by myself. You know. And also I know that it means now I'm going to have to constantly fight against myself. No, no. It's not that you're not unlovable. Things just don't work out sometimes. Yes, put yourself out there again. Keep your heart open and... You know, maybe you'll have another opportunity. And I have evidence for that. You know, as much as I will lament it and feel like, oh, well, that's it. That was the last chance of finding love. Because the evidence shows that I at least do find myself opportunities. So I have reason to believe that it could happen again. And then here, the battle with myself, yeah. To just play the same record again, you know. You'll find that opportunity, stress out about every which way it could go. But then, by chance, my goodness, you, you break through and... You go on that first date again, and then guess what? It's going to lead you to nowhere. And I know it's fresh and I'm processing it, but that's just how it's feeling right now. It's My story's already written, that it's already... It's I can write a new chapter, it's going to end the same, you know? But at least I can say this is already far better dealing with it than I have in the past. Because like I said in the past, I would take every opportunity to attack myself and to build up like, ah, see, your fault, you did it. It's because you are who you are. No one likes who you are. That sort of thing. But you know, it's like, time is starting to just feel like it's moving faster and I'm growing apart from the I have less energy and less time to do the things I want and who am I if I'm still trying to figure it out at this age why you know Because it's so much easier to focus on the negatives. You know, it's part of our human wiring. We just fixate on the bad. We can even forget the good. Because there are good things that happen through this, right? I mean, when I first started developing the crush on her, Okay, I recognize, oh, I actually want to pursue talking to her more. And so I did that. And then when I wanted to ask her out and I had all these doubts, not just of her reject me, but that because we work together, oh, like that could be a sticky situation. Maybe she goes to HR. Maybe she gets me fired. Maybe it, yeah, maybe I am out of a job because of this, right? And that fear of rejection, like, ooh, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna ask her like that, and then, you know, but I did it, and she said yes, and 
I still have my job. And then after she said yes, you know, we talked. And we hung out. We went on dates. We opened up. And I remember that, oh yeah, I can actually talk to the girls I like. I can open up to the people I want to. And actually, I am curious about people. And people are curious about me. I am very insecure about my smile, my teeth. But even on those dates, you know, I'm laughing, I'm smiling. And, you know, she gave me compliments, so like, okay, I, maybe I don't have to be so insecure or ashamed about that. And obviously, you know, you talk about it yourself and you, what you do and that. And I also have this fear that I'm just utterly boring that I have nothing going on. But she seemed at least interested enough to listen to me, you know. You know, she didn't... She didn't criticize or, like, make fun or belittle what I do. So there's a lot of good in that, that so many of these fears, anxieties that I have about who I am, because of course it makes sense, a lot of that is in my head. That's why it's almost harder, like I was saying, where so it's not me, it's just this timing. I just have the timing wrong now. You know? And like, I keep saying like, I don't know who I am and I'm trying to grow and trying to become a better person. Is it working? Like, am I still doing things wrong? Like, all of this doubt, man. Things just become heavier. That's what it is. Things are starting to just become heavier. They have more gravitas. And, you know, sure, I can jump back into my work. I'm a delivery guy. What do I give off? Like, oh, well, I'm going to really, I'm going to be the best delivery person in all of Night City. Sure, great. It's not exactly what drives my life, you know. I just want to improve somehow, like, what can I do to be the best version of myself? Like, what can I do to make me a presentable human to someone? And I think part of that is effort. You know, I have a tattooed on my finger, persistence. I know that I can't give up, right? And I'm not going to reverse course. Like I said, I'm not going to start doing the opposite. You know, I'm not going to just become an asshole now. And even though you and I are talking right now, it's like I don't want to talk.
you know. It's walking by people that I'm just like, don't smile at me, don't be nice to me right now, like, I don't, you know. I, I'm saying all this to you because, you know, it's so much better than just keeping it in. You know, I, I mastered that. I could paint you a beautiful smile. But holding it in is worse. So open up about it. Talk about it. Ultimately, I want to help people, and I think that does in a way. If not for everyone, for one person. If you're going through some shit, it's like, you're not alone. And that holds value. And that's what I want to offer to the world. So for myself and for others, I will try to get better, improve, and to act from kindness, respect, and, you know. Because even though I, I, I can't see what even the end of the day looks like, much less what tomorrow brings. But it's what I've done in the past. It's when things fall apart, you pick up the pieces and you you put it back together and you keep moving forward. Because even now when we're talking and how it feels so shitty and how I don't want to do anything right now, I still hold hope in my heart. That if you try to do good by others, good things will happen to you too. And if I'm saying that right now, then it's got to be true. Because this pain is still so fresh. And yet, I think that there is still a world of happiness out there. Well, I think I'm going to take off now, but I appreciate you checking in with me. And just a reminder, maybe it's good for myself as well. Be well to yourself. Be kind to others.